today's video, I want to talk about the invocation and invoked support that came out um, and what it means for Alistair in terms of the future of the game. Now, I'm just going to put this out there immediately that I think the support was really good. I think um, the new mid Magistus card, which hasn't come out on Omega yet, but we'll just treat this as the proxy, being a popular and free special, and then the quick play card that can search it, uh, along with the card that was released not too long ago, or revealed rather, with Spoon being able to have yet another search target for it, means the consistency of Magistus and Alistair has gone up tremendously. Does this mean that we might get more direct support? Maybe, maybe not. I feel as if, if we're talking about a playable deck, Alistair has definitely grown in strength, but one thing that I just see, uh, don't see a bunch of people talking about is the splash ability of Alistair in the future. Now, obviously, uh, the ratios I have up top here is pretty normal for a lot of decks that can play Alistair. Uh, obviously, it shifts, maybe you play two, maybe you play one meltdown, maybe you just want this, and you guarantee at least play one invocation and maybe triple Alistair. There's no way you're not. But the uh, important thing is, with all this new support, Alistair definitely has an identity crisis um, and being an engine now. The appeal uh, invoked, sorry, was just how generic and splashable it is. Now, you have all these extra cards that are coming in, and while they give consistency, they're essentially doing the same thing. The Poplar, which is the new Magistus card, Crowley, and the Quick Play card is no different, and still no different in terms to what it loses to and what it performs. Instead of simply just ending on a Ragin or a um, Mechaba, Kaliga, whatever it is that you put out, you now just do it during your opponent's turn, which there is per pros and cons to both, obviously, but it still loses its role, and there's no guarantee. So what does this really do, though, in terms of the future? Because I still see Alistair being able to prop up and still do amazing things. I think Alistair is an insanely broken card. Being able to resolve Invocation twice is usually enough to win a game. I'm just gonna say that, and I still think it's one of the best normal summons in the game. I, for one, love Invoked. I love the playstyle, and I love the splash ability, and I think Alistair is just a really cool card. But for the first time, with all this new support, how does one juggle it out? How much does the engine actually matter to you? I feel like, for some, they might ask, well, this doesn't really matter. Invoked will still always do Invoked things. You could still play the same ratios. But like I said, there are now pros and cons to playing the old way and the new way. And it depends on the deck too. The new way does not guarantee anything. It entirely depends on the deck you play. What the new package could be is triple of the field, or triple of the quick play spell, and one of the Crowley. So you can get into, like I said, you could get a free Mechaba, you could get free Ragin, you can get free Purgatory, or whatever attribute that your deck plays. Uh, so you have that option now available to you, uh, but what you do lose out on is recursion. What you lose out on is a card that can help in grind games. And I'm going to tell you, it's most likely not going to work out playing all of it. That's why I have the categories separate here. Um, if you start adding more consistency cards to search in, the deck becomes too much invoked. Invoke simplicity has always been its greatest strength. It's the fact that it's splashable and it's very powerful uh, singularity and also in other decks. I don't think I have to explain to anyone Dogmatic uh, and uh, Dogmatic invoked a few years ago and how good that deck is still to this day or how good uh, resolving invocation can be. Invocation is a very versatile card. If you play the new stuff, you lose it. And if you simply play that stuff with the old stuff, sure, you could get another invoked, but that's not what makes it good. Getting two invoked monsters in the modern game is not bad, but the boon of invocation has always been, in my opinion, the extra addition, the extra little thing that you are now benefiting from. And I feel like this is where we kind of draw a line, because if invocation gets more support, 
and it becomes a playable deck. We're now conflicted. And on one hand, you can look at it as now you have options. You, you, if you don't care about the recursion, then you can pick the new way. Or if you want the old way for the fusion, the hard fusion summoning, that's also a way. I just feel like, though, on one hand, it's cool that you get options now to play essentially the same thing, just how you want. But in terms of Invocation's identity, it's in a very weird place now. Because they're, it, from the glance, it looks like they're trying to push for this deck to become an actual playable deck. Heavily relying on Magistus, which I'm not against. I just feel like, though, the identity of the deck needs to remain intact. I'm all for support. I'm not against it. But the support has to play with the identity of a deck very heavily. And you know what? This might honestly be nonsense. But I legitimately feel that with the Poplar Edition, which is the new Crowley card, and the Quick Play, while it is nice and they technically do work with the deck synergy and what it tries to go for, it's the same. Their new support is the same. Again, I'm not really criticizing because if you don't get trolled, hey, you have another Invoked. And I love Invoked. I just feel like, though, it's not what the deck truly needed and going forward obviously i feel like there's going to be variations that are going to love the new stuff there are going to be variations that heavily play the alistair stuff and as long as the deck's good i don't care i just simply just want to give my opinions on what i feel about the new support the magistus cards the invoked cards um i for one think it's it's cool that they're trying to push for more of a more stable alistair deck but at the same time i feel like now there is a huge confliction even though there, I've also stated that there's a great benefit to having a whatever line of way you want to do stuff. I just feel like, though, it's kind of tearing at the identity. Because at the end of the day, unless you're playing the pure deck, an engine with this, maybe play one of that, triple of this. And maybe if you're really feeling lucky, play one seal or just don't count that at all. You're now contributing quite a bit of extra deck space, which is not good. The beauty of Invoked is the simplicity and how few cards you have to have to get access to some remarkably strong boss monsters. Just food for thought, in all honesty. Um, I'm still not disappointed. I still think it's fine. I still see what Konami was going for when printing the new stuff. I'm all for Invoked. I'm all for it being relevant. I still think Alistair is a remarkably great card. Um, I've seen some uh, of them making this Azamina cashier... Uh, invoke decks it's crazy how well alistair will continue to age because none of it thing none of it is once per turn which is just really good but there's not great ways to abuse it it's simply just in that simplicity that will keep it going i'm curious what y'all think about the new support maybe i'm completely wrong maybe this new stuff is going to be broken i just feel like right now invoked has an identity crisis because what it thrives on is being an engine, but now they're seeming to be pushing it more as a deck, and you can't seem to have both, which I feel like was their true objective to uh, satisfy both needs. But yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about it. Thank you.